Hey guys, at least with this battle pass, I had a hard time deciding what would go in the worst section, but both number five, the whisk taker apron, and number four, the cute core backpack from the worst section, they 100% should have been in the food fame pass. They're forgettable, and they look like they came from the old kudo shop before it retired. Number three is a bit of a cheat, I'll admit, but why is this pass 300 tiers. 160 is hard enough. 180 is hard enough. It's not realistic. It's just not realistic. Are they trying to tire us out? Anyway, number two is the Dino Tape costume. Another mad costume, but it's not bad. And number one of the worst is the Chosen Emote. Good for horror fans, I guess, but what does this have to do with fashion? It's very out of place. On to the best. Number five is the Big Bad Grandma costume. The blue plaid with the white frills goes nicely with the wolf's purple fur. Number four is the Golden Grim costume. I gotta admit, Fall Guys barely ever misses when it comes to golden costumes. Number three is the Fall Foliage costume. The colors and detailing on the leaves will make you stand out in the sea of beans. Number two is the Jetpack Savior Celebration. While this celebration is also kind of off topic, it looks like it took a lot of effort. It makes history by having a second Fall Guy in it, and it's funny. It fits perfectly in the game of Fall Guys. And the best part of this fame pass is the CQ3000 costume. Just look at how textured it is. Also, I'm a sucker for both robots and cats. Farewell and kisses. If you want to see a Fall Guys level in another game, check this video out right here.